that's all we need right there. Hey, how you doing, brother? What's up, Sam? Oh, yeah. Time to feed some monsters, huh? Yeah. These are huge bass. Jeez. That was a monster. <laughs> oh. 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 That might be the one. Yep. Get a handful. Get a piece. Yo! Oh, she's home. Awesome, bro. That looks so good. Over a year of waiting on this, and many, 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 many of you watching have been waiting on this as well. What is going on, Crows? Welcome back to another video. Today is finally the day we've all been waiting for, the return of Thump. Before we get into all of the action, which there's a lot of action, I have a word from today's video sponsor, and it is the coolest product I have ever dealt with in my life. Stay tuned, because we're finally getting a Thump. Today's video is sponsored by Icy Breeze. Very first portable AC cooler. Look at that. Not only does this cooler have lifetime warranty, which is huge, it'll blow cold AC right out of here just as fast as your car does. This thing is a true AC, not like no swamp cooler. Now there are three ways to power this cooler. It comes with a 12 volt car cord, an optional 110 volt wall cord, and this battery right here that will run this cooler for six and a half hours on a single charge. This thing is insulated with twice the amount of foam as the best cooler on the market. Now if you're not using the AC and keeping yourself cool, it also will hold ice for days. Oh yeah, I got one. Look at that beautiful fish right there. These Icy Breeze coolers right here start at the price of $289. It is all self-contained and does not need to be vented outside or have condensation lines. It can be operated indoors or even put directly into a tent with you. The dual AC kit is great for splitting the air for two people. And the Icy Blocks works great when you don't feel like going and buying ice. Fill this thing up with water. Boom. It works great for food storage. The more ice you have in here though, the better the AC will run. Of course, have a couple drinks in there, that's totally fine, but it does need ice to blow the coldest air. In this case, we're fishing, you can keep your bait cold. The Super Speed Power Port is my favorite accessory and many others because you just clip it right onto the battery, just like that, and now you got two USB cords. Charge your phone, charge your... Tablet. Tablet, charge your... Charge whatever the heck you wanna charge right there. You can literally charge your favorite device for days on a single charge. It also allows you to charge your battery from your car because it's also a 12 volt battery charger. That port right there. In order to run the AC, you need to fill this cooler up with a little bit of water, get it above that minimum water line. After that, dump your ice in and this thing is good to go. With a click of a button, on. And it just feels amazing. It's incredible. If I had this in the dugout when I used to play baseball, oh my goodness, the world would be a different place, let me tell you. This cooler is full of ice right now, and it's very, very light. Not only that, you got your little handle here. Go fishing. Paul, what are you doing? Just, just cooling, cooling the, cooling the, uh, the what? The, uh, oh! oh, he's on. <laughs> What do you got? You know when you got some cool balls, you'll start catching fish. <laughs> Look at how beautiful that fish is. Hey, sorry. 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 Now I wanted to make this legit, so I stuck the icy breeze out in the direct sunlight of the sunny South Florida for six hours straight to see what it would look like on the inside after six hours. So let's take a look. Here we go. Oh yeah! <laughs> icy breeze. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry there, Caferos. Didn't mean to get you wet. <laughs> That's indeed icy. I tried to blink, it just didn't work. It didn't work. <laughs> it's working, it's cold as shit. The Icy Breeze is truly an incredible product. If I could encourage you guys to get anything that I've ever promoted, it is this. It is amazing, especially living here in Florida. Honestly, camping trips, fishing trips, whatever it may be, the best thing you could ever have. Promise you, you will not regret the purchase. Thank you so much Icy Breeze for sponsoring this video. I will most definitely be using this. That was the greatest thing I've ever done in my entire life. Click the link down below, get yourself one. Love ya. Back to the video. So about a month ago, we actually attempted to catch a thumb. 
That right there. That was beautiful. That was it. That was her. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We got dumped. We don't even need to go catch fish. You think it's big enough? I, mean, I think a red tail would inhale that. Yeah. Oh. Well, it turns out it's now not big enough because it's gone. So yeah. You threw it right on that stick. Yeah, I did. Let me tell you what, when those bass see that structure, they sure stick to it. <laughs> Used to catch absolute studs here. And as a matter of fact, I actually caught a hybrid, a red tail catfish and a tiger shovel nose mix. That's the picture. I look like a youngin, but I did catch a hybrid here. So if we happen to catch a 60 pound hybrid catfish right now, I got a new monster for the pod. David's sitting there, he goes, my bait's acting a little funny. <laughs> well, that's because he got a fish, David. We were literally about to leave in three minutes. Three minutes. Go. Good fish? Oh, a little small. Right. Still, we caught a fish. We didn't get skunked. Oh, all right. Good job, David. Thanks, man. We'll have to try to come back another day and get another thump. Attempt number one, incomplete. Obviously, that didn't work too well, so we actually had a plan B. And plan B was guaranteed to get a thump. So I made one phone call, hit my buddy Sam up, and we headed that way. First stop is to get a bin to put the bass in. I'm not sure which one would work better. This one's pretty big, right? It's deep. Plenty of space for the bass to do a turnaround. And we're not getting a 13 pound bass this time, like two years ago. We're not doing that again. We might catch one on accident, because they just come up and start eating stuff. You'll see that in a second. Jeez. That was a monster. <laughs> I think that's all we need right there. Sam! Hey, how you been doing, bye, bye What's up, Sam? Good, good. We are here at Shiner's Unlimited. I know it's weird to see me with glasses on, a little different. I came to pick up another thumb. It's finally time after like literally a year and a half, maybe even longer than that. It's time to get another bass. Look at that. These are all yeah. about to get fed to the bass. We're just gonna show them what's to come, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I got some crawfish too. So inside these tubs right here is a bunch of shiners and minnows, and this is exactly what Sam does every day. Lives on the property, sells fish off the property. Fishermen come to this location, buy bait, shiners, and then go fishing. Today though, we are actually getting bait here and fishing here to catch a bass. Oh, look at them looking at it. I can see their shadows, bro. Ready? This is a dead one, so it'll float. Oh! Oh! oh my goodness. Oh my gosh! <laughs> It literally lasts like three seconds. Oh. <laughs> These are huge bass. Jeez. That was a monster. Oh that was a monster, dude. dude Bro, little beast. baby. Look at the size of this one chilling right here. Look, 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 look. See him right there? There he is. He came up and ate it. Oh my god. Oh. oh. Ready? Oh. Oh my goodness. Holy smokes, that you got it all over the insane. camera. Well that right there is just the teaser pond. This is actually exactly where I had caught the previous thump. Unfortunately, I think the last one we had gotten was just so big that it was honestly a mistake on my end to take one that big. I need something that's probably around like six pounds. It is going to be an epic day. We're just getting started. We already got the first feeding in. We're about to head to the back ponds now, which are much larger and there's a lot bigger fish in those. Oh yeah, it's time to feed some monsters, huh? Yeah, yeah. Time to get a new bass. Let's head to the back. Oh! All right, Dave, I gotta let you experience this. Now look at the one sitting right here, Dave. Hand feed them. Hand feed them? Yeah, look at them. Bro, See them sitting let there? Let me tell you what to do. You, you grab them like this, and let the tail touch the water, okay? Reach all the way down in there. It's like Robbie's, but yeah. large mouth. Look at the size of that. Oh my goodness. Dude, that is like a 12 pound oh. fish right there. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. Why did you jerk your hands? Why, 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 why did you pull back? Oh, you seen that video, huh? Yeah, I know. Hey, you know I get pulled in. That's what happens. <laughs> oh my oh, gosh. Man, Dude. <laughs> oh my Bro. gosh. These fish are huge. Take a look right here. Money. Got some shiners. I'm just going to throw two of them. Just two of them. Right here, right in the middle. Boom. Right here. Yep. Look at the size of that. Why he jumped out? A crawfish just tried to pinch me. Ah! <laughs> oh, he's gone now. Should have tried to pinch me. <laughs> oh! He's a little bit lethal. They 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 small but they fast. Come on, where are you guys? So this right here is the lake that we're actually gonna be fishing out of today. So not the not the extra large lake, not the practice lake, the fishing lake. This is the one that. 
we're gonna catch a fish out of and bring home for the 5,500 gallon. Bunch of five pounds, six pound in here, okay? This right here is the rod of choice. It has a broken tip as of on the way here. So thankfully it doesn't really matter too much here because you drop the bait in and it gets clapped. This is gonna be very interesting. I think I'm gonna catch one and then Brenton over there, Brenton's gonna catch one too. We're loading up the tub with some water and then we'll fill it up even more once we catch our fish and put it in. This water is very, very clear. We got a very large aerator just for this moment right here. So it could be pumping the whole hour and a half, hour and 50 minutes back home. Is everyone ready for this? I'm not. Are you ready for this? No. I don't even know what I'm about to pull out. I could pull out a 10 pound bass right now for all I know. I'm gonna hope it's around five to six pounds, but I could pull out a 10 pound bass, potentially. Okay, if you do pull out a 10 pound bass, are you taking it, that yeah, home or are you releasing, releasing it? You're releasing it. Releasing. Okay. Yeah, okay, so the goal is a fit. Just, yeah. just so you guys understand, like a 10 pound bass, like grown men chase their entire life to catch yes. a fish that size. Yes. Well, so we just come and cheat. So <laughs> is your line gonna be able to? Oh, Sam. Okay. <laughs> all righty. Sam. All righty, all righty. Come on, Sam. Uh, I trust you. <laughs> I do want to try something before I catch a fish and it might accidentally lead to me catching a fish. I want to try ripping it across the surface. Oh, it's like a frog. Oh you know? Come on, grab it. Oh, that was so sketchy, dude. I'm, I'm actually shaking, dude. I'm scared right now. Come on. Slow down a little bit. You might get a hit. Oh, that's a little one. That's a little, that's a little baby. <laughs> Jeez. That's a baby? That's a baby. Yeah, that's a baby, baby. That's a baby. Uh, two, two would, pounder. That would make my day catching that. It would make my day catching this in a lake, yeah. This is like a two or three pounder, probably two and a half. It's a little chunky one, but they eat so well that the tails are so thick. Super thick fish. Like that right there, beautiful. Beautiful, but not the one we're chasing. We want a little bit bigger. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Dang. This is actually crazy. Oh! oh. Did it. It came off. I feel like I'm fishing at Robbie's, dude. You're looking for the big one, huh? This, this is the one. No looker. Oh, catfish. Oh. Catfish is going to take it. Oh, that's a big one. There you go. That's a good one. That's the one we want. Woo! Oh! Get down there, Brenton! Oh. Got him. Yes, sir. There we go. Good Got old him. belly on him. That is a big fish right there. It is the correct size fish, but uh, I think we're gonna search for another one that's a little bit more uh, thicker. We got a specific thing in mind, and Sam's being really cool with us, letting us really pick the one we want. So, although it's a beautiful fish, it's not quite the one we want. All right, buddy. Thank you for your time. There he goes. Now Brenton's gonna try to hook something big. So let's see what he can do. Oh my gosh. This is nerve wracking. <laughs> Oh, oh, God. Not big enough. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. Came out. Come on, Brenton. Oh, my gosh, dude. Well, I thought I saw just. Oh, that's a good one. Go. That's, that's a really that's good, good one. one. That's a good one. Come here. That might be the one. Yep. Might be the one. Oh. That's a good fish. That's oh. a good fish. That's a belly on it, dude. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, that is a good one. Oh. Oh. Look how oh. fat that thing is! Oh. Oh. Stomach on that thing. Oh. Wow. Oh, baby mama! Wow, dude, the stomach, the girth. That's kind of what I was talking about, Brenton. Right there. Good job, man. You caught the new thump. How does... Oh! Uh, what I was that? <laughs> what was that? Um, oh, I got it. You're good to go. Anyway, <laughs> look at the size of that thing. Yeah, big mama, right? Big old mama. <laughs> the gut on that fish is just insane. Now I don't want to put it to too much stress, so we're gonna we're gonna run in the back and put it in. There we are. Big old stomach on that one. We're gonna wow. get that aerator kicking, get some fresh water up there, and get on the road. Oh! All right, letting her rip. We got water going in. Definitely gonna take some acclimating. This is pretty cold water because we're north of where I live. Big shout out to Shiner Sam here. If you guys ever need some live bait and you're located near or by Lake Kissimmee, which is Lake Wales area, Shiner Sam's at Shiner's Unlimited has you covered. I appreciate it big time. No problem. This guy is the man. Obviously we have a live fish in the bed, so we're gonna cover it up with a net, make sure it's uh, set for the ride and get home. About an hour and 30 
30 minutes left, hour and 28 minutes, 98 miles to go, and check this out. This truck's got a super cool feature where we can see the back of the truck. Uh -huh. So I can literally crazy. see the bass, like look. Oh, well, let me, it won't let me move, it's not that high tech. But the bass is right there so we can keep an eye on them the entire ride. We got a net over the bucket. That is the coolest thing ever. Technology these days is crazy. So we're on the road, we got an hour and 30 minutes and I'm gonna pick up the camera whenever we get there. Stopped over at a gas station to check up on the bass and he's chilling. Just chilling. I mean, that flow is immaculate, dude. What do you think? Bro, I'm, I gotta see this thing. Oh my gosh. Right? Crazy. That is so cool. Oh, big baby mama. That's dude, you right you know there. You caught that. I did. This is a big moment for me. It is. Look at that. I would say we gotta name it, but obviously it's gotta be Thumb. It ha bro, you can't. It's gotta be can't Thumb. Know. Even though we know the name is Thumb, comment a funny name down below anyway. Let's just see how many comments we can get of just random names. The DBA. What, of you thumb. name it. Um, uh, what would I name it? Tyler. Back home, and we got the bass. I'm actually siphoning out some water into the tub that he's in now. That way, the water is the same temperature. I'm gonna take him out of here, put him into here, and then acclimate him over there at the 5,500 gallons. So it's a little process we got going. This thing is uh, big, bro. It's, it looks, it's a big bass. It. It I'm about to pull it out awesome. here in just a second to put it in here. We're gonna get another look at it. Make this easy for me, baby. Go. Tank, dude. Oh my god. What an absolute tank. That is a monster bass right there. Check out that fish. What do you think, Cole? Smell it? We're gonna close up this. Now get this over to the pond for the real acclimation. Baby mama, Tyler is ready for transport. Tyler. Oh, she's that home! Awesome, bro. That looks so good. Over a year of waiting on this, and many, 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 many of you watching have been waiting on this as well. We finally have, at the 5,500 gallon, fully set up, water heated, filters running. We have a bass that is the perfect size, good meat on them, nice and chunky. And that right there is exactly what we're gonna let acclimate this largemouth bass. A very slow acclimation. I'm gonna close this lid so it's nice and dark, less stressful. We're gonna let it just keep on filling. And while our largemouth is acclimating, we got tilapia, which is exactly what all of these fish eat because we don't want hungry fish when we put a new fish in. It's feeding time. Get a beast. Nope, 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 Get a beast. Nope, nope, nope. Get a beast. Nope, nope, nope. Get a beast. Nope, nope, nope. Yo! Get a handful, oh, handful of tilapia and just. All the catfish just start going crazy. Oh, yeah, dude. Look at those fish. Fatten up everyone that could possibly be a harm to our largemouth. So now that all the fish are full, we can officially get our largemouth into the tank and have a lot less chance of these fish being aggressive towards it. Now these fish aren't like fish that want to destroy another fish, but if they have a different sense, something that they have never smelled before, they're gonna attack that fish. They get pretty territorial once you put something new in there. So this is my house. To calm them down, we fatten them up and then they don't even want to move. Exactly. So I got this last piece for the gar whenever he comes, as he's coming at me right now. Come here, baby girl. Come here, Gar. Come on. There it goes. Down that, buddy. Yeah! There he goes. The melanistic Gar. It's officially time. The time we've all been waiting for. One last shake from you, huh? You just gotta be a little stubborn dude, huh? Look at that fish, man. Holy smokes the gut. Look at that bass. Oh, he shook. There he goes. There he is. There he is. Oh my gosh. Bro, he looks massive. When he comes by the window, it's probably going to be the most unreal shot. Here he comes. Here he comes. Look, 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 look. Oh my god. He is exploring this 5,500 gallon aquarium. We are going to make some really, really cool structure in the middle of this aquarium here soon. That's probably one of my upcoming videos. I want to make some sort of really cool artificial structure for all these fish to have. And if they choose to hide in it, they can hide in it. Um, but look how, look at the belly in all these fish. All the fish have these massive belly, they're all full. We got a big largemouth bass, thump. Shout out to Shiner Sam again. Shout out to Brenton for 
you know, fishing for this thing along with me. Yeah. Oh, come on. Yes. Oh, 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 dude, that looks like a Bass Pro Shops large mouth. That's the craziest thing ever. That is insane. Oh my God, it's so dope. <laughs> I'm gonna come back to the pond in just a couple hours to check up on this fish. And I'm gonna make sure I take this camera with me in just a little bit. So let's see how this fish is doing about three, four, five hours from now. There he is, stud. And he's so healthy. Fit. My goodness, look at that fish. He kind of fits in just perfectly with everything else. He's chilling. I think, I seriously do think in about a, a day, maybe two days at max, he's gonna be blowing up and eating already. That right there is the new thump. Welcome him home, everyone. He is a beauty. We finally did it. What can I say? We got a thump and we also got an Icy Breeze. Big shout out to Icy Breeze for sponsoring today's video. This is truly like the coolest product ever and they have this patent, so no one else could do this. Go check out Icy Breeze, the link is down below. You guys can get yourself one and I can promise you, like I said, you will not regret this purchase. Uh, what an amazing product, I will definitely be using this a lot. So from Icy Breeze and myself, thank you so much for watching. The return of Thump is officially a thing, we have another largemouth bass. And there'll be much more of that largemouth bass on the channel. So subscribe, smash the like button, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace!